Hello, my humanitarians, and welcome back from the weekend. Thanks for logging in. Overcast with a chance of some minor moodiness today. The moon has moved into your subconscious aqua and crossing Pluto during the course of the day. That means it's time to release for some old karma, or from some old karma, is what I'm trying to say. These are weeds in your soul garden. So maybe you're always the codependent. Maybe you're always the detached one. Maybe you're always the victim. Maybe you're always the healer. Whatever that always is, that's karma. Those are old patterns, and today you will be releasing emotionally from those patterns. You may also have some kind of interesting dreams going on. I find sometimes our dreams are quite prolific when the moon is in what we call the 12th house in classic astrology. So just kind of be aware of that. If anything really makes you intensely emotional, ask yourself, is this a pattern in your life? So if you're intensely angry, intensely jealous, intensely anything, well, maybe it's because it's reminding you of other times in this lifetime or another, if your belief structure goes back that far, where you've been triggered in this regard. Zim in the sun, it is a day of healing. We're in chapter two of sun in Aries, and we are working on, for you, a new attitude on life, a new way of operating intellectually. And with Venus ruling the day, it's time to kind of create new opportunity. Here's what I recommend you do today, okay? So watch your thoughts. Grab a box of popcorn and just watch your thoughts. Watch them going by. Oh my God, I just put myself down. Oh, I just insulted that girl because she's in a red dress and I think she's a whore. Oh, this just happened, that just happened. And take advantage of the Venetian energy, Venus, and rewrite that thought on the fly. Okay, we don't have to put that person down. We don't have to put ourselves down. We don't have to assume that we're not going to succeed. We can create something new. It's time to experiment in Chapter 2 with how to get the right attitude on life. And remember, the right attitude is important to manifesting what you want. And it's Monday. We have a new episode of Julie Zipper's Meditation Vibration going live today. This is Chapter 3 for her. She's guiding us through the Aries vibration, courage, determination, and strength. I know it's tough. I'm going through weeding in my soul garden myself. But don't miss Julie. She's beautiful, she's talented, and she's wise. And she's live everywhere. Soul Garden does stream. Okay, Aqua, that's all I have for Monday, but I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So